Monte Wiley here with Fight Hub TV. I'm here with um, Connor Hume, who'll be on the Strike Force card on March 3rd against Ryan Couture. How are you doing, Connor? How's your training going? Uh, I'm doing well. I've uh, spent the first two months of my training camp up at altitude training in Boulder, Colorado, with the guys at Zingano Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Broomfield, wrestling with Leister Bowling, and uh, training with some of the guys over at Easton BJJ as well. Last time fans saw you, you put on a great performance against Magno Almeida, going on to win the fight while at the same time suffering an injury. Um, tell the fans about your role to the recovery and also your development as a fighter since that time. You know, uh, in that fight, I, uh, I did get my uh, elbow dislocated right at the bell in the third round. Uh, he had a pretty deep arm bar in the second round, but I was able to you know, focus my energy into the arm and keep it safe. And when I came out of the position in the second, it was fine. Um, so didn't really pop out till the end of the third, but uh, you know since then they brought me to the hospital reset my arm uh, Luckily, I didn't need any surgery and I uh, didn't need any surgery on my knee as well I had uh, I tore the ulnar collateral ligament in my elbow uh, that runs from the thumb to the radial head out here and uh, I also had a second degree MCL tear on my left knee um, Since that fight, you know, I took uh, I took a lot of time up in Colorado um, you know where I'm from and uh, you know took the time to, to do lots of different things for recovery physical therapy acupuncture rolfing um, and I also do uh, a lot of meditation and yoga focusing my breath towards the injured areas and um, sort of breathing intention into those places to speed my healing um, I feel real good I've competed in two jiu-jitsu tournaments since that injury uh, I took second at the Grapplers Quest World Series of Grappling in uh, Las Vegas uh, a couple months back and I've just been focusing hard on my wrestling and jiu-jitsu out in Colorado. Uh, I came out to LA um, about a week ago to do the last month of my camp here with Chris Riley, my striking coach, and Eddie Bravo, my jiu-jitsu coach. Um, you know, I'm, I'm strong, the arm feels good, I, uh, I feel, you know, better than ever, more focused than ever, and as far as my development as a fighter, you know, I'm, one of the things I've really been working on is learning to be more present in the fight. A lot of times in the past, I would sort of just go in with tunnel vision, you know, intent on doing what I was going to do and, and really not connecting with my opponent at all. But I've been doing a lot of exercises to open my heart um, to my opponent so I can have a, a better feel for what they're going to do. I can have a better sense of their energy and it's easier to interpret and, and anticipate their actions. So I think that we're going to see uh, a whole different Connor Hume in this fight. I really look to be fluid, flow, and, and just uh, be in the moment. And I think uh, we're going to see an outstanding performance. I've worked a lot on tightening up the mistakes that I made in the, in the ground game. I've always been very reckless on top, looking for the finish at all times. But uh, I've learned how to stay safe in the guard, as well as pass the guard before uh, you know, beginning to strike. I think in this fight, you know, what you're going to see is a more mature, more patient, more present Conor Hume. Now, head, now heading into this fight against the well-rounded Ryan Couture, what would you say is the biggest asset you hold over your opponent? Uh, I would say my mental toughness and determination. I know that uh, when I step into the cage, that I've you know, put all my affairs in order. I've you know, told my loved ones that I love them. I've, uh, I've done everything I can to, you know, go into that cage willing to do whatever it takes to win. You know, I've had my jaw broken in a fight where I went on to win all three rounds. I just located my elbow in the last fight. There's nothing that he can do to me in the fight that's going to stop me from coming forward, throwing bombs, and trying to finish him. So I think, uh, you know, my biggest attribute or, or my biggest strength is, is one, going to be the experience that I have over him. He has only four fights as a professional, where I have 13. And uh, I've been in wars with top guys. KJ Nunes was a former champ. You know, I stood on the feet with him. I lost a split decision in that fight. But, uh, you know, that's a fight that I feel I've won. I don't feel I've ever been beaten in a fight. I feel like I've been a little behind on some of the judges' cards when the time ran out. And uh, this is really going to be a time for me to shine and show my development and uh, really put it on him and push him. I don't think he's ever had a fighter who who imposed their will on him. A lot of people were content to stand outside and, and play his game in a point fight. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to drag Ryan Couture into a brawl. I just want to thank all my training partners, both here at Legends MMA in Hollywood, 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu headquarters, and the guys I trained with out in Colorado. 
uh, Leaster Bowling, the guys at Zingano, BJJ, my friends back in Jackson, so everyone who's helped me get to where I am. I really appreciate you guys. The sponsors like Fist First Athletics who stand behind me, Melee Fight Gear on the mat, those are people who've been with me since the very beginning. And uh, you know everyone who, who goes on to, to pledge their support. I also want to thank uh, Jason Eisner for introducing me to yoga. That's been uh, you know instrumental in my transformation, both as a fighter and as a human being. So I want to thank all those people who've helped me get to where I am today. Thanks, guys. Enter code HUB749 for a domain name discount and enter the codes below for other great discounts from GoDaddy.com.